for me, in a very, very simple form, is technical SEO is very much about problem solving, understanding what the problems are, then being able to communicate those problems to the relevant people in the teams, you know, in order to, for them to fix it, you know. But from technical SEO, do you physically need to know how to fix something or do you just need to know, well, this is broken, please fix it? Um, so I do, so I always use two-way approach. I'm using my soft skills and my hard skills. When I say my soft skills, what I mean by that is that I understand that I'm on the same team with the developers. I don't just like play the bl blaming game, like, oh, you didn't do that, like you, you failed, right? I want to be on the same team with them. And I want, because at the end of the day, they care about the same thing that I do, but we just say it differently. So I don't tell them, oh, you need to do this for SEO. Because nobody cares when you, uh, apart from SEOs, when you say, oh, it needs to be done, needs to be done for SEO. Like nobody, nobody does. So I speak their language. So, okay, this website needs to be fast because blah, blah, blah. Not because, oh, they're like Google. No, they don't really care about that. So um, the, when I say hard skills, what I mean by that is that I use very specific requirements. I write user stories and acceptance criteria. So let's say um, if you need to have an XML sitemap on the website, right? Usually what happens, an SEO just says like, oh, I need an XML sitemap on the website. And then a developer implements it, let's say, and they and then you look and this sitemap is not automatically updated. It doesn't have like a bunch of URLs or it has the URLs if you don't need them there. And, you, and they go back to developer and say, oh, like you screwed up. Like you didn't do your, your job correctly. But well, it's actually you who didn't do your job correctly because it's on you to communicate properly what needs to be done and what it looks like, what success looks like. So that's why I use uh, user stories. So user story would be something like, um, as an SEO manager, I want uh, the XML sitemap to be on the website and found in this URL because it will help the pages to be um, discovered and indexed by search engines. And then acceptance criteria is, okay, the uh, sitemap is found in this URL. The sitemap is automatically updated whenever a page is added or removed. The sitemap has only the URLs that return 200 HTTP status codes. All these things, you list all the things, and then magically, it becomes so much more clear what exactly you want. And then when um, a developer get, gets back to you and says, oh, it's done, then you can test it against the acceptance criteria. And when something is not done, you can back and get back and say, oh, actually, these things uh, have not been implemented. Can you look into this? Because you have something to back it, to back it up with rather than just saying, oh, do it. Um, so I find that this is super important to be very clear in your communication.